What's up there, YouTubers? Today I'm here to show you a pretty much overlooked gem for the Sega Saturn. This game is a stall, released in 1995 by Sega. Um, here's the intro of the game. I'll let I'll let it play for a few seconds. It basically tells a story. Water, sky, and air, and two humans from a red jewel and a green jewel. From the red jewel, a boy named Asal. And from the green jewel, a girl, Lida. Lida had the power to create life. Asal's purpose was to protect Lida. Alright, to make a long story short, there was a goddess named Antawas, and she created a world, and she had two hum She created two humans in the world. She created Le uh, Lita, who had the power to create life, and then she created a stall, who was the basically her protect her sworn protector, and he had to protect her no matter what. And basically, this evil guy named Gerardo came, and he tried to take over the world. And to ensure this, he created a another human named Geist, who was like this evil guy, and he basically kidnapped Lita, kidnapped Lita, took her to the bottom of the ocean. Um, then from the bottom of the ocean, Asal found out, so he, he decided to go and destroy, destroy the bottom of the ocean. He basically, like, broke the whole ocean apart in desperation. So then, the goddess Antoas came back and she found out what Asal had did, so she ban she basically, like, banished him for the world. And now Asal has returned, finding out that Lita has once, once again been kidnapped, so now it's up to him to save her again. So basically, you have to play through that adventure. As you can tell right off the bat, this game has some amazing graphics. And basically, this game was pretty unique because they actually had voiceovers. Look. If you are here to steal the bird, you have to get by me first. Alright, so basically you just kill these little gym things. And you gotta save the little bird. And you, you can tell that Asal has a pretty, like, you can tell his personality by the way he talks because he's like, he doesn't really like anybody. All he does is want to save Lita. He doesn't really care about anything else. So basically he hates the bird and the bird still follows him. I'm not going to spoil it, but the bird is a very, very important, important part of the story. Basically, the, the bird helps you um, throughout the game. You can issue him commands. He can, like, um... He can get food for you. He can attack all the enemies on the screen if you want him to. Um, yeah, he's a big help. You can also play this game on co-op, where you can have one person controlling the bird and one person controlling the salt. Basically, how that works out is that one person can attack with the bird, and then one person can attack with a saw, and he can pick up items for you if, you, if, you, if you're busy. It's pretty cool. It's like Sonic and Tails. It's kind of like the Sonic and Tails kind of thing. And this game ranges from about 16 levels. This game gets pretty difficult after a while. Like, the first few levels aren't that challenging, but once you get to, like, start getting to later levels, it gets pretty hard. And note that you have limited lives, unless you put in a cheat code. Alright, this is, this, is, this is the second level, as you can tell. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the cave level. This level is pretty unique. You're like in a little cave, and then you gotta like dodge these flocks of bats that come by. And let me tell you a little bit more about the system. Alright, basically on the bottom you can see like the little fruit things on the very left. That's your life. You gotta collect fruit. You can have up to three of them. You can pick up the green fruits, which give you full life back, or you can pick up the red fruits, which give you one life back. See how I just sent him to go get me some fruit? So he, he brought back a green fruit, so he drops it. I pick it up, now I got full life back. And basically the way that works is, if you see, if you can see in the middle, there's like a little purple bar. The, the, the further that thing is filled up, the better stuff you can do. And the way you fill your bar up is by killing more and more enemies. You just bash them, and then your bar goes up eventually. And basically when your bar is full, you can do stuff like he can get full life for you. Um, he can also do things like attack every enemy on the screen. I'll show you in a second. See how he just attacked all the enemies on the screen like that? You can do that. He's pretty useful. Actually, in some parts, you actually have to use him for a boss battle. So he's, he's more than useful. Um... 
Assault's a pretty powerful guy. He's like, basically he just does everything by lifting him up and slamming him on the ground. So he's a pretty power-based character. He's got large fluffy hair. I like, I like his whole looking ego. He's pretty cool. He's like this hardcore guy, but he still looks like some little like cutesy kind of little thing, but he can just own anybody by just lifting them and tossing them. Um, this game does something well. This game shows off what the Saturn can do. This game can display huge, I mean, this game shows that the Saturn can display huge sprites, and it can display them well. Uh, a lot of sprites at one time. This game has a lot of sprites. And see all those sprites going by? Those are just a whole bunch of bats. This is, I'm about to enter the first boss battle. See how it changed views and all that stuff? This game has some nice visual effects, man. Alright, the, the first boss is pretty pretty much a pushover. I'm just gonna beat him real quick. Oh, you just gotta bash him in the head like that. And then he goes off the screen. And then you bash him in the head again. You bash him like that. And then after a while, he'll start sending out his little little baby bats, and they, basically he can he can command them to charge at you like that. See, he just hit me, and then you bash him again. Dang, I missed him. See, I just toss him. All right, now his wings broke off, so he's basically gonna go in the background, and his little baby bats are gonna pick him up and then bring him back. And basically now he's just gonna start bouncing around. He ain't so hard, he's a pushover. This game has some amazing sound effects too. This game has awesome background music. Um, it, it, it fits the, the world very nicely. This game has a unique world. It's like a, it's like a kind of a crystal-y kind of world. I don't know how to explain it. And that's Jice right there. He's the evil human guy. Basically, he's behind all this kind of stuff that's going on. And you, you're going to have to fight him later on in the game. But I ain't going to spoil the storyline for you. And basically, after every few levels, they'll play a cutscene. Like, every time you beat a boss, they'll play a little cutscene. Now, I'm going to skip that to get on to the next level. Um, this game ranges from a variety of different states. You'll be fighting in, like, forests, um, ice caves, um, stone caves, crystal caves, um, crystal palaces. Lava, lava mountain kind of places, a variety of places. So definitely, if you're a Saturn fan, you should definitely look for this game. Or if you, yeah, if you own a Saturn, definitely look for this game. This game isn't that expensive either. I think I bought this one for about 20 bucks on eBay a while back. I mean, not eBay. I bought this one off Amazon. I bought this one off Amazon for a while back, and it, and it was well worth it. Oh man, I, I just got killed. Um. Yeah, basically, when you when you lose all your lives, you get a few continues. But when you when you use a continue, you have to start the the whole sequence over from the cutscene. So you gotta go through like three three or so levels or whatever you went through. And basically, that's that's basically the whole gist of the game. If you have a Saturn, definitely check this one out. If you like Sega, if you like 2D platformers, um, if you like. If you like just games that have that show off good good hardware use, definitely check this one out. This game shows off some of the best things that Saturn can do. And also, this game was kind of unique because they didn't require the RAM cartridge. A lot of a lot of the good looking 2D games required a RAM cartridge. So this is one of those games that look really well but didn't even require a RAM cartridge. They can just play this game right off the bat. And this game is well worth it. It's a slept on gem that everybody should play, especially if they have a Saturn. By all means, try to find this game. It's, it's one of those games that you, that you just have to experience firsthand. This, this camera doesn't even do this game justice. So this game has awesome, awesome graphics. The colors are very bright. Solid, solid sprites, giant sprites, um, very vibrant colors, unique enemies, kind of stuff like that. So definitely, yeah. This has been Jake J the Man with another review. Hopefully I can do more Saturn reviews. I like doing Saturn reviews. I like to like keep a little wide 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 variety of things that I want to do. So I'm gonna keep on doing Saturn reviews and I'm gonna keep on doing Genesis reviews guys. Definitely stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos. Alright guys, this has been J.